My name is Ang Kai Rei and I am from Singapore. I had my first robotics class in primary 2 and this is my first time participating in a RoboCup competition. This U12 RoboCup challenge has been a wonderful learning experience for me. I learned to use available information such as XY coordinates to alter my robot behavior in different sections on the map. I also learned how little changes such as altering how much my robot turns can have a big impact on how much area the robot can cover. Throughout this challenge, I learned to plan using decision trees on Excel, program and test to see whether there are any bugs in my program. I also learned to be more resilient and to persevere, especially when the robot is not working the way I intended it to be. Cool challenge sharing videos have also allowed me to learn from the strategies and experiences of participants from all around the world. I was very impressed by Hong Teng Yi, who achieved a score of over 2,000 in his Rescue First Steps New Nineteen game. I hope to learn how he was able to implement the strategy to obtain two sets of cyan, red, black objects in every deposit. The RoboCup challenge has been an enjoyable experience for me and I will share that with my friends, relatives and family so that they know about RoboCup. I will share with, my, with others what I know about robotics programming and how AI can be used to benefit us. I am in the Co-Space Rescue First Steps U12 category. In this competition, I had to program my robot to collect as much treasures as possible and then deposit them into deposit boxes while avoiding traps which will cause my robot to lose all collector treasures. I used three important strategies to increase the amount of treasures deposited within the time limit. First, I used the map's XY coordinates to divide the map into areas where there are traps and areas where there are none. I programmed the robot to move fast in areas without traps so as to pick up more treasures. For areas with traps, I programmed the robot to slow down so as to avoid driving into the traps. At first, I had 6 sections of the map where my robot moved fast and 3 sections where it slowed down. When my robot moved south from 2 of the sections above one of the traps, it would move very fast and sometimes would fall into a trap. To solve this problem, I had to slow my robot down in those sections without traps but are near a trap. Even though this reduced the number of sections where my robot could move fast from 6 to 4, I am now able to re further increase my robot speed in the 4 sections far away from traps. Let's see how this strategy works. Take note of how my robot is able to move fast in sections far away from traps. Notice how it slows down in sections near or containing a trap. Secondly, I fine-tune the turning speeds of the left and right wheel when the robot is near a wall so as to vary its path as much as possible. This enables it to cover as much ground as possible. As the treasures were scattered all over the map, this fine tuning would increase the chance my robot would find a treasure or a deposit box along its path. Notice the variation in my robot's path as it moves on the map and bounces off the wall or an obstacle. See how its path is able to pass many different parts of the maps where treasures are scattered. Thirdly, I program my robot to deposit treasures 
when there are at least one treasure loaded onto the robot. This reduces situations when the robot is full and unable to pick up treasures along its path. Let's see how this strategy works. In this instance, the robot deposits treasure whenever it finds the deposit box and is able to maximize the treasure it collects in the remaining seconds. Thank you for watching!